Hi, this is Yanni with another how-to video. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at how we can explode an array. Basically, taking a list of however many items and being able to run each of those items individually through our story. So I have this get cat picks HTTP request. I have it set to reach out and find 10 cat pictures when I click on run. I'm going to click on the events in the top right hand corner and when I look at it and I expand this data, I will see that there is all of these cat pictures. So if I just look at one, boom, it's a cat picture. So what I want to do is I want to take all of these items and explode them individually. So I'm going to grab an event transform, pull it onto my story, click and drag this arrow from the get cat pics into my event transform. I'm going to call this when I select the event transform, I'm going to call this explode array. I'm going to change the mode to explode. It's going to ask me for my path, which is just basically an array of elements. An array is also just a list. So I'm going to click on where it says your path. I'm going to delete all of this text. It's going to say, hey, do you want to get the data from get cat picks? Yes, I do. So I'm going to click on that, click it again, and then click on body. You'll notice on the bottom right hand corner under result, it's going to show me the array that I'm looking at. So I see here are the 10 different cat pictures, plus it tells us the ID and width and height of the picture, which is actually great information. Um, then two. So when this array explodes, what do we want each of these elements to be called? By default, it says individual item. I'm going to call it cat pick cat underscore pick. So now when I click on get cat picks, I'm going to run this and you'll see that the explode array has happened 10 times. When I click on that 10, it'll show me here when I click the three dots and click here. This is basically the cat pick. So here is that cat pick that we just called it. And up here is actually information that is related to when we explode. So the GUID is basically the unique ID associated when you explode an array. The size is how many items are in the array and the index is what item of the array you're on. So it starts at zero and then iteratively goes up. So I can see any given number of items in the array. And boom, that's how you explode. Thanks so much for joining me and I hope to see you next time.